Hey, Cinnamon, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for your patience. I was cleaning the Desert Eagle later, or later, earlier today. I fired it with my dad and my brother. And that thing, it's gold, so it's, well, it looks like gold. I think it's titanium gold, whatever the heck that means. I believe the magazine floor play at the very least is gold. But anyway, that thing was a bear to clean. Because I'm kind of anal when I clean stuff. And on the inside, <laughs> most guns are black, right? Or dark gray. So when you're cleaning them, you don't notice all the carbon it looks good uh, it must be clean this thing is a gold color kind of like cinnamon yeah so you can tell when it's dirty so i spent a good hour usually pistols you don't pistols are the easiest to clean yeah i gotta order a when you clean the barrel you use a brass brush or nylon i usually use brass and i don't have one for a 50 cal weapon so i have some 50 cal brass brushes i've just been using oil patches in the meantime which is fine oh Oh, thing's expensive to shoot. Well, the gun itself is too. About three dollars per round. So spent one hundred and sixty dollars in ammo. But hey, it's worth it. It's a cool gun. Got to get some more ammo for it though. <laughs> get low in the range stash. Whoa, whoa! It's Cinnamon's gun. So thank you, buddy, for letting me shoot it. Yeah. By the time you've seen this, you've whoa! He took that away, buddy. You took it away from your daddy. By the time you're watching this, you would have seen that video. Maybe some people don't like those videos. Whoa. But I do. It's something different. It's fun. Say at least half of viewers like that type of stuff. So that's, that's not bad. Half of is a, is a majority, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. When I'm cleaning guns, cinema just kind of shills down here with me. It's kind of cool. He just watches me. Super playful. Yeah. It's been raining a lot today. It wasn't raining while we were shooting though, which is nice. Ooh. That thing was more pleasant to shoot than I remember the one in the indoor range. Probably because it's not as loud when you're outside. That was fun, wasn't it, buddy? Yeah. Well, you, you probably saw that some of the videos sent him on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, good boy. Ooh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, he loves playing with this. My hair all over. My hands are still kind of wet from after I washed them. From cleaning the gun, they get kind of nasty in a way. Like, yeah. Carbon, probably some nasty stuff. Yeah. Oh, hey, good boy, huh? Oh, good kitty. Yes, you are. What a good little young man you are. Uh -huh. Oh, he knows He knows something's up. Hey, gunpowder residue. He's setting off alarms at the airport probably with all the gunpowder residue I got. Under the nails, all that. Yeah. Residual. Yeah, he smelled me. It's like something going on. <laughs> Cats have a good sense of smell, I think. Much like dogs do. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, good boy. Starting to lose his winter coat. I gave him a good brushing a couple days ago. The grass is growing. I'm sure probably later this week I'll have to cut the grass. Oh, let's see, on Tuesday, I don't know when I'll post this, maybe Monday, it's Sunday night right now, I might post this on Monday, who knows, I've been doing more videos, because I had a lot of time off last week, or this, yeah, last week, whoa, <laughs> boo, 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 gotcha, poke, poke, getting a root canal done on Tuesday, so, uh, when I am recording, or, yeah, you're on Tuesday, in a day or two, or whatever, I may not talk very well. I don't know how that's going to work. I took the whole day off, though. I think I have a root canal in the afternoon. So I'll probably wake up and think about that all morning. <laughs> and then have a good meal or whatever before I do it. You're not supposed to eat for a while after because your face is numb. That stinks, though, because right after you know, I'm taking a day off, I'm going to go somewhere get some food. But I'll just get it done, get home, chill for a while or whatever, and then I'll take the rest of the day off. Should only take about an hour or two, I think. I've been on mouth, so I might record and sound kind of weird. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that. You guys, I think I'm probably wasted. Maybe I'll do that. I'll get home and I'll drink so I can not, so I won't know if it's because of the alcohol or <laughs> or my root canal. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'll make sure I'm home before I do that, though, obviously. 
Ooh. It's just local anesthesia, right? They just shoot you up in the mouth. <laughs> so it's not like I'm going to be impaired. I just won't be able to talk. So maybe if I get into road rage, somebody starts yelling at me. If I yell at him back, the way I sound, they might think I'm just, there's something wrong with me. Be like, oh, he's just messed up. I'll <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> oh. oh no, can you get it, buddy? Can you get it? <laughs> What's crazy and the worst part of anything medical related or dental, kind of the same thing that's medical, are the repeat appointments. Like, kind of like almost the vet when you have to go back for like a booster or whatever. Or, <laughs> I don't know, or bring him on by next week and we'll see how it's going. But this thing, the root canal is going to be done in a specialist. So that's one place. And then after that, there's three additional appointments I have to do at my actual dentist. And they're spaced out for insurance purposes. They're spaced out a little bit. <laughs> so we have to do in America. We have amazing health care, but you got to kind of work the system a little bit. Because it's expensive. Great quality, but it is expensive. Some people don't have insurance. That sucks for those people. Whoa. But I don't think they turn anyone down. Whoa. I would say, not to get too political, but I would say 90% of the issues with American healthcare is the insurance companies. In order to fix it, they're going to have to get rid of those people. And they're greedy mofos, right? Some of you watching are probably work for those companies. Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. Money's cool. <laughs> Same with auto insurance. That's a lot. I get auto insurance. You crash. You know, I don't want to spend... Well, my cars aren't worth anything. But let's just say I have a $30,000 Ford Ranger, which I do not. <laughs> Mine's worth, I put more money into it every year than it's worth. But anyway, let's just say you have a $30,000 new-ish Ford Ranger. You crash that. It would be nice not to have to drop thirty grand yourself, right? You pay. Here's the thing, though. If you pay X amount of dollars a month, you add that over a few years, several years, you're going to, you'll be over 30000 So it's one of those things where wouldn't, you could, if you were self-insured, but where they come into play is if, God forbid, you're in a terrible accident where you need medical bills or somebody else does, you hurt somebody or worse, that's when, they're, that's when they come to shine. That's when they have the capes on, you know. Ooh, you know. Most people don't have 200 grand they can dump for medical bills. God forbid they need them. So that's where they come in handy. But anyway, yeah, it's a mess. Boop, boop, boop. If anything, you don't want to get a ticket for not having insurance. So, yeah. Like, like an NFA tax stamp. I would like a short-barreled rifle or a suppressor or silencer. You know, the government's like, you're sick. You shouldn't do this. It's wrong. Pay us $200. Okay, you can have it. <laughs> and, that, and then if you get caught with it, oh, where's your tax stamp? Here it is. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> There's a joke about that. <laughs> they should... Oh, you're getting, you're getting frustrated, bud. Whoa. It's like making sounds. Oh, <laughs> You okay, buddy? You got a hairball? Sounds like he's almost... You okay? Sounds like he was he's making unusual sounds. You gonna be okay, buddy? You gonna be okay? Maybe I'm just imagining things. Sounds like he was making sounds. Hmm. But there's a scene where Dr. Phil's like, something to the effect of, you're disgusting, I can't stand this, you're bad, give me $200. And then that excuses the person to do whatever they're gonna do. <laughs> Whoa. Like they say, pay your taxes, right, buddy? Yeah. If anything keeps you out of trouble. That's, whoa. They may not be right. They may be wrong, but I also don't like to get in trouble. Yeah. What you doing in there? Okay. Earlier today, I didn't film this because it was, in order to film it, I had to also film a neighbor's house, and that's not very nice, right? kind of inconsiderate but cinnamon was stalking a robin a bird it's our state bird yeah you were you were stalking that robin <laughs> he got pretty close he's probably from where he is now <laughs> halfway up the stairs and then i heard it fly away and you lost your quarry mm -hmm. it's okay though that happens anyway well thank you everybody for watching the video thanks for putting up with the ramblings tonight hope you enjoyed them kind of fun probably hopefully and we'll talk to you later yeah bye-bye